we're back with another one and this is a bluetooth comparison between the moto roller hint so is this is the moto hint versus the roiken mini bluetooth now the roiken mini bluetooth is the new kit on the block and this is the moto roller hint now let's take a look at the moto roller hint you can see it there it's charging and this is its charging case and once you charge up the case in the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth can charge up about two additional more times in its case. And you can say the same thing for the Roiken Bluetooth. You can charge this Bluetooth two times in its case as well. Now, we're going to talk about battery life in a minute, but let's take a look at the Motorola Hint. Now, the Motorola Hint, you can get it. I wouldn't say cut you you're not getting it customized but you can get a lot of different assortments of colors and so forth this Bluetooth was one one of the most anticipated Bluetooth that I definitely wanted and I paid hundred and fifty dollars for this Bluetooth and I can honestly say at first it seemed like a very nice Bluetooth very convenient that I can put it back in my pocket with its case close it back up and it can charge up but in using it during work and you know being a doing you know walking around doing what I gotta do drinking my coffee you know having lunch I noticed some flaws about this Bluetooth this Bluetooth will fall out your ears um, that was the problem I had with this Bluetooth while I'm chewing my food this Bluetooth would fall out Sometimes if my ears are a little sweaty, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to get that suction. So that is the Motorola Moto Hint. Now the Roiken Bluetooth is the new kit on the block and I'm telling you I've been leave I've been using it and I didn't clean it for this video. It doesn't really catch that type of wax like the Moto Hint does. In other words, you can your air breathe a little bit better with this Roiken Bluetooth. Now, let's talk about what you're all really here for. Everyone that talks to me about Bluetooth asks me one question. And one question only, is it a, can I listen to my music through the Bluetooth? Is it a stereo Bluetooth? Is, is it a, a, a um, Bluetooth that I can listen to music? Yes, both of them are. You can listen to your music, podcast, whatever it is, you'll hear it through both of these Bluetooths. Now, which one carry the better sound? Let's see. So you're hearing the sound from the Roiken Bluetooth. Now it packs some very good sound through this little Bluetooth. Very good sound through that little Bluetooth. Now the sound from the Moto Hint is going to be a little tricky. Because I have to hold my thumb over the prongs in order for it to think it's in my ear. Because that's the only way the Bluetooth turns on and works. You have to hold it a certain way. Motorola. Moto Hint. So both, both of these Bluetooth pack a punch. They both sound good in sound and everything, but having this Motorola Moto Hint in your ear, as soon as it starts slipping its grip and it's gonna turn off, and if it drops, you're gonna have a hard time finding it. The same thing with the Roykin, if it drops, 
which it haven't dropped out my ear yet so this bluetooth definitely has a nice secure fit and you would think since this is angled to your ear you would think that this bluetooth would be the first one to you know wouldn't be the one to drop out but it it is a rough bluetooth to keep in your ear but the Roiken bluetooth has been pumping and it stays secure in your ear and the way it fits really hits off a real good sound so not by much i'll give this sound to the Roiken it just sounds better feels better in the ear than the Motorola Hint now at the time when the Motorola Hint came out you thought this was the smallest Bluetooth that you know that's really hit and you can't imagine anything being this smaller but when you look at both of them together you can see that the Moto Hint absolutely seems pretty huge compared to this Roiken Bluetooth and the battery life when it comes to battery life straight out of its port both of them straight out their own case battery life is at the max which I would say the Motorola hint maybe three three and a half hours under heavy usage if that I would say three hours and the Roiken will give you three hours as well they both giving you the same amount of battery life now maybe at first I got a little bit more out of the Moto Hint but it doesn't seem that way that I'm getting that much battery life from this but I remember I believe I said that this was about four hours of battery life I would say now maybe it's around three three and a half so I would give the edge in battery life maybe to the Moto Hint but not by much and when it recharges in its own individual case they both giving you about an additional uh, another hour and a half of, of continuous use now your your battery life may vary that's my battery life with my usage so i would say on battery life it's almost a wash but the edge might go a little bit to the moto hint now let's talk about price the moto hint has been discounted to about 129 dollars and this Roiken Bluetooth has been discounted as well to about $59. So when you're looking at these and you're looking at price and you're looking at portability, you're looking at the way they look in that business attire, that business look, um, you want something that's sleek, you want something that fits the bill. I would say both these Bluetooth definitely fits in to that because they're good looking Bluetooth they definitely work both of them look good inside the air look professional but I think you're gonna have a more distinguished look with the Roiken so we went over sound we went over how how they work and they both work very well but if I had to pick one I will go with the Roiken Bluetooth over price over sound I definitely got to go with the Roiken sounds better look better feel better better seal in the air I like the case for it um, it's an all-around better Bluetooth no no shadow of a doubt no um, hesitation I would buy the Roiken Bluetooth three times over over the Moto Hint. The Moto Hint biggest problem is that it doesn't fit in your ear all the time. You can't eat a snack with this Bluetooth in your ear. Now, sound quality, sound quality on both is on point, but I think the people can hear you a little bit better on the Roykin. But in sound quality, both of them are lacking just a little bit compared to other bluetooths so those bigger bluetooth might have better sound quality when it comes to talking on the phone but with these mini bluetooths i would say they both have their problems 
with people hearing you on the other side. But in the nod, I got to give it to the Roykin. In all around performance and everything, Roykin's wins. That's it. See you guys in the next one.